guys, welcome back and thanks for taking the time to join me. I'm going to tell you a wee cruncher pattern. Um, the hook in the vise is a Camazon B175 in size 10. You can tie these down to size 14. The thread we're going to start off using is the Uni 3880 and lay it off. Right, I'm just going to come in and get the thread started behind the eye of the hook. I'm just going to run the thread down until I'm past the the point of the hook and then remove the, the waist tag of thread. The tail on the fly is just going to be a, an olive cock fibers. So I'm just going to pull a wee pinch off. I just want these to be right about the length of the body. Or a wee bit shorter. Then I'm going to take four turns down the shank of the hook, tie in the tail. Just going to come in and square these off a wee bit. bit of waist thread. The rib on the fly is going to be a ultra wire in black. So I'm just going to catch that in. Now, I'm just going to run my thread up. This point, just before we tie in the the open mirage tinsel, just want to try and get as much of the olive thread down as I can, nice and tight. If the thread turns here, and then bring my thread turns back down, and fairly close touching turns down to the down to the wee tail. And then we're going to come in with our Opal Mirage Tinsel in large. Right. Just going to be pretty us off. And find the end of it. I'll throw this up to the hook. Come in with a turn. Just going to put it in to where I want the body. The end. And then Wind my thread up, fairly close touching turns again, tanning the Opal Mirage. Then we'll come around with the Opal Mirage tinsel. And you're just looking slightly overlapping turns with the Opal Mirage up the body to there. Follow this around with my thread, a couple of tight turns, come in and trim away the excess of the open mirage tinsel. Then we're going to come up with our wire and we're looking four turns up the body. Follow that around with our thread. Nice tight turns now, I'm just going to keep the wire just on my side of the hook. Working the thread right the whole way up. And you can bend and break away the wire. Now, at this point, I'm going to switch over to the Uni 3801 Black. Just going to tie it down and bring my thread back up. Come in and Trim away the olive tan thread, your waist bit of black. Now the dubbing for the thorax is going to be the fox squirrel 220. This is the natural fur stuff. I'm just going to be a bit of this out of the packet. I'm just going to dub this on. Down. I'm going to tie in the haggle. This is a Cree saddle haggle. So I'm just going to catch this in. Should have already had this. Just getting ahead of myself. Sometimes I forget that I'm 
filament. So just come in and trim away the stain. And then we're going to work our fox squirrel dubbing back down. Then we're going to bring our Cree haggle. We've got a couple of turns going at the top. And then you're looking two turns or so through the body. Then we're going to bring our thread through the thorax just to catch in our haggle. Sweep everything back, it's going forward. Just put it back. It's one wee favour there, it just doesn't want to behave itself. Just put it back and bring your thread up over the top. Then we'll come in and trim away the remainder of the Cree hackle. Now, I'm just going to clean off the, the fox squirrel, it goes everywhere. Just getting a bit of thread down from the hackle at the front. Now you can come in and brush some of that out. Just a bit of velcro, just to brush some of that out. And then the head haggle is just going to be, this is just a, a cheap Indian cock cape and furnace. Now you could use the, the Cree haggle again at the front if you wanted to. So I'm just going to tie up over the top of the tip. Come in and locate the tip, break it away. Come in with our scissors. Stroke that up the stem of the haggle. And then we're just going to take one turn from the other. Two, three turns. This wee haggle should be plenty. Now, apologies for my fingers. Just going to put one more in. Keeping the haggle nice and tight underneath. Follow this around with your thread. Nice tight turns. Now at this point, just come in, just sweep everything back. Nice tight turns of thread here. Up over the top of the stem. Bring away the stem, keeping your thread tight. Don't let it go. Just come in and in a whip finish. Bring your thread nice and tight. Come in trim away your your tan thread. So there you go. Now we're just going to put some super glue. There's too much on that. Just take a wee bit of that off. Under the head. Straight the way right round. And then once that dries guys I'll come in and put on a couple of coats of uh, varnish. So there you go, that's just a wee, another wee cruncher pattern. Um, just to follow on from the the wing or the quality street cruncher that I tied. Now I'm going to do another couple on the, cr on the crunchers. So if you're into your trout fishing, tie a few of those up, hopefully they can catch a few fish. As always, many thanks for taking the time to view the video. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Um, until next time, please stay safe and take lanes.